Hey guys, Dave Moore, iDaveMoore.com. I want to talk about the Sage Dynamics handgun class that I took last Saturday. I took the Sage Dynamics Defensive Handgun Fundamentals class in Asheville, Ohio, and I just kind of want to talk about that. First, let me start by saying that Aaron Cowan is an awesome dude, a great instructor, and he's very personable. He teaches you in a way that you just you want to learn. Stuff he says, the way he says it, the, the jokes he says, and just his overall demeanor just really makes you want to just listen to what he has to say. Uh, about the class, I did learn a shitload. A lot of defensive uh, handgun fundamentals I actually learned, I picked up, and I'm going to use from now on and use them in my training routine. Uh, there's not a whole lot that I can really say about the class as far as what we did. Uh, because you're going to have to take the class and find out, but I do definitely recommend you take the class. We did a lot of uh, austere shooting positions, although it was raining the entire time. It was pouring. We were soaking wet and freezing. So we didn't get to do as much as uh, he had planned, but we did enough. We ended up finding a little inside place that we could set up. Uh, we did a lot of, or some, not a lot of shooting from the hip. I learned some tips on that and a few tricks that makes it a little bit easier and better to aim. Uh, one of the things that I liked is we did do, do some moving and shooting uh, in the aspects of if you are with a friend and you were trying to barricade them and shoot, uh, whether you're doing it one-handed or two-handed. So if you're ever with somebody, a girlfriend or something, have a plan on what they need to do, how you're going to get them out of the way when you engage the threat. And then we did some scenarios, so to speak. We had some of the targets online, 3D targets. Some had knives, some had guns, some, some were no shoots. Basically turned your back and the people set up a scenario and you had to shoot it properly, uh, change your angles, adjust uh, for certain targets, move. That way you're not shooting through and hitting any innocents. So the class was awesome. We did have, have a few people, two people, leave the class because they thought that it was something else. They saw the term fundamentals and I think that they were thinking it was just a basic handgun uh, pistol handling class and it, it was not that at all. We did not go over reloads. We did not, not go over uh, grip and stance and all that shit. This was, I mean, it's more, it's his beginner class, but it's technically a more advanced class than most of your basic handgun courses. So going into this class, you do need to have an understanding of how to use your gun. You need to be able to run your gun before you take the class. Now, if you do have problems with grip or something, he will gladly talk about that and address it, but at least for my class, none of us had a problem, so he did not need to, to address it at all. Uh, so like I said, it was awesome. Defensive handgun fundamentals, that was basically his first uh, or his lowest level handgun class, I believe it was an awesome class. I definitely recommend you take it because you can't experience it until you're there. Uh, another thing is my gun, my Glock, let me clear it. I did have some problems with this and it started at the beginning of the class. I, uh, I, I was in a panic. When we first started the class, I was in a fucking panic because my gun was not working. What was happening is the trigger was slipping. Whenever I would go to pull the trigger, it would move back, but it wouldn't engage the connector, and it was slipping. So it was just a dead trigger. It just it, it wouldn't drop the uh, the striker. And so at our first break, I was kind of, kind of in a panic. So I went, I grabbed my Glock parts, I changed out my connector. I changed it from my Ghost Tank Tactical which I installed myself, I changed it to the Ghosting 3.5 pound. That seemed to kind of fix it, but then it started happening again. The trigger was starting to slip. So I'm like, fuck. I mean, I was in a panic. I wasn't talking to anybody. I, I was there with Young Buck Dave. Wasn't talking, I was just, I was nervous because I'm like, fuck, well, what am I going to do? And uh, then I went back next break, took it apart real quick, and then I changed out the trigger spring. The problem was the Ghosting six pound trigger spring. I reinstalled the factory trigger spring, and now the gun works fine. So that trigger spring, uh, I've broken one before after thousands of rounds. This new one, uh, maybe they ugh, maybe they sent me the wrong spring, but I will not be using it again. I'm going to be using the factory spring trigger spring from now on because I cannot have that happen. Uh, needless to say, it wasn't the connector, so I reinstalled my tactical connector. 
but I'll, I was in a panic and I didn't know what to do. But that's why you shoot Glock. If you ever have something go wrong with it, you can fix it in the class. I mean, we had a break to, just to refill up on ammo. I was able to refill on ammo, take a vape, and fix my gun twice uh, with no problem. So having the ease of armoring with the Glock definitely helped out. Uh, and having proper parts installed would have alleviated that whole problem to begin with. So moral of the story is take Sage Dynamics Defensive Handgun Fundamentals course when he is in your area and have spare Glock parts on hand at all times, especially classes because you never know what the fuck's gonna happen. For those of you who have taken a Sage Dynamics class, then you will know about this. Um, what he does is he has some red patches. He calls them the Red Sage Patch. And it's just a $4 piece of PVC, but he gives these out to his class, uh, to pe certain people in his class that he feels that exceeded in the class or that went above and beyond what he ultimately required. Now, this is not something that you get for just being there. This is something that a elite few have. I believe there's about 75 out there right now out of all of his classes. He said some people, some classes he gives out eight, some he gives out zero, some only get one. It all depends on if you ultimately impress him or not. Well, needless to say, I was, am one of the lucky few to receive one of the red sage patches, so I am now part of the red patch club, and it really is an honor to have this. I wasn't expecting it. I thought that uh, my gun not working in the beginning of class would have uh, kind of screwed me over on this, and I might have thrown a few rounds here and there in the, in the class, but I was lucky enough to get one. He actually gave out five in my class. Uh, we did have a solid class. I mean, it was me, Young Buck Dave, uh, a lot of you know him, and just a bunch of cool dudes. And all of us in the class were pretty much I like like-minded. Not just like-minded as in program, but like-minded as in the shit we do, how we train, how, how we think, and just like stuff that we have. It was a really awesome, awesome class. And like I said, five of us got them. So we had a really good turnout. And it just goes to show you that there are some good gun guys here in Ohio. So hopefully you come back to Ohio, Aaron, because I'm definitely looking forward to Handgun 1. Keep shooting, guys.